Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. If you're just joining, you're probably wondering why Gus here is panting so loud. And the reason for that is she just experienced a bout of the Great Dane Zoomies. Now, while the Zoomies are not specific to Great Danes alone, it's very noticeable when your 100 or 200 pound dog is sprinting like crazy around your yard or your home. So in today's video, I'll be covering exactly what are the Great Dane Zoomies, why do they do them, and also some practical tips for your safety as well as your dog's safety as well. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, my name is Zach and this is Gus, and we're from the team at greatdanecare.com. And it's our mission to provide tips and practical information to owners much like yourself. Uh, so that way you can do a better job of owning your Great Dane. So if this is something that resonates with you, make sure you go ahead and like this channel and subscribe down below as well. All right, now as I hinted at, the Zoomies are not exclusive to the Great Danes alone. Many small dogs, large dogs, medium-sized dogs will also experience the Zoomies as well. Now, if you're wondering what exactly the Zoomies are, because you've never seen it before, maybe you have never heard this term, what it looks like is your dog anywhere from 30 seconds up to several minutes will just be sprinting like crazy, you know, back and forth or in circles, maybe leaping over things. And this is often what kind of leads to that term, the Zoomies, because they are quite literally zooming back and forth. Now, animal behavior is classified this type of activity by the acronym FRAP, F-R-A-P. What that stands for is Frenetic Random Activity Period, um, which really in layman's term just boils down to that your dog has too much pent up energy or enthusiasm, and their way of releasing this is just by sprinting back and forth periodically. Now, in addition to this definition of the Zoomies, I think it's also worth pointing out that um, Great Danes can do this at really any age. Now, obviously when they're puppies and they have a little bit more energy, they may be more inclined to have this excess built up and kind of, you know, maybe a couple times a day um, have a bout of the Zoomies to help release this. Uh, but even Gus here, who is about four and a half, she still has the Zoomies. And really, as long as your Great Dane is, you know, healthy and active, you can expect them to keep doing the Zoomies all the way up until, you know, potentially even the age of 10. Um, it really boils down to how fit and active and healthy are they uh, because their need to release energy you know could affect them at really any age there now because of this potential where your dog be doing the zoomies for almost their entire life here it's worth noting that if your dog is you know one who enjoys the zoomies and likes to do them and then one day just seems to stop or not do them at all anymore uh, it could be something that's worth looking into because it could mean that maybe they have a hip bothering them or there's something else going on that's kind of preventing them from doing the zoomies now this doesn't mean that you should be concerned if your great dane never does the zoomies because there are certainly some dogs who just may not exhibit this type of behavior now the key here is just to really look for major changes so a dog who once again likes to do the zoomies and does them frequently all of a sudden one day stops doing them that could be something to investigate and look into with your vet it's so now that we understand exactly kind of what the zoomies are um, i think the reason that it's really more so associated with great danes is just because it's that much more obvious and noticeable when your dog who is over 100 plus pounds is just sprinting around you know while a smaller dog may be doing the exact same thing um, you may not be as likely to notice them if it's your dog or someone else's just because they are so small but when you have an animal that's as large as humans running back and forth you're going to take notice and this is for good reason uh, because while they may not intend to because they are really sprinting so frantically and having so much fun there is the potential that they could you know trip and run into you um, i've even seen stories of you know dogs accidentally rolling up in people's knees and creating injuries um, so this is really i think one of the key reasons why people not only notice great danes doing the zoomies but also why you should pay attention when your dog is trying to release some of this pent-up energy so that's tip number one when it comes to the zoomies is make sure that you are paying attention as well as the people around you uh, once again while your dog may not intend or mean to actually hurt somebody they very well through the process of sprinting back and forth could you know take somebody's feet out or roll up into them and hurt them uh, but also if they're doing so inside the house they could you know slip and push the carpet and knock over furniture uh, so it's really something to kind of keep in mind as your dog is uh, experiencing their case of the zoomies all right now in addition to just being safe while your great dane is doing the zoomies the other biggest tip that i can really share relates to the timing the zoomies around meals now, while we don't know the exact reasons as to why our dogs and Great Danes especially develop bloat, one of the factors that is highly believed to have a strong correlation is going through intense exercise very close to meal times. So while your Great Dane may want to kind of do the zoomies at will, the biggest tip that I can share with you is to try to limit them from doing the zoomies within one hour before or one hour after meal time. 
Now, once again, this is very much precautionary because we don't know specifically that this, guarant that this is guaranteed to, to cause bloat. However, playing things on the safe side, it definitely makes sense that if your great dame's just been sprinting around for you know five or 10 minutes and just going crazy, maybe you should wait up to an hour after that before you feed them, whether it's breakfast or dinner time. Now, the same goes if they've already had that meal and they're trying to get out in the backyard or somewhere else and just really sprint around and go crazy, do your best to limit this just as a precautionary measure once again. So these two things are kind of really our top two tips when it comes to the zoomies. However, I'm sure that many of you can share, you know, your own crazy or funny stories about things that have happened with your great day and experiencing the zoomies. So I'd love if you could share that down below so that way everybody in the community can get a kick out of these and some entertainment. Um, so hopefully you found this video helpful and until next time, stay dainty my friends.